while you're at the front. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you here tonight. It's, it's great to see so many people out and to see that our, there are so many people that are interested in our community. Um, I've been asked to uh, read the land acknowledgement and uh, for the Algonquin Territory. So, we would like to acknowledge the land which Bonfield is situated on. We pay respect to the Algonquin people who are the tra transition, there, <laughs> traditional <laughs> guardians of this land, its natural resources and its surrounding local watersheds of the Ottawa and Mattawa River. We acknowledge the Algonquin's long-standing relationship with this territory, which remains unceded. We acknowledge the traditional knowledge keepers of the land, culture, and language. We also respectfully recognize the presence of all Indigenous people, both past and present, as we commit to action, education, meaningful dialogue, and necessary change. Miigwech. Bonsoir à tous. Mon nom est André et je suis la sous-grille greffière trésorière du Township. Nous tenons à reconnaître le terrain sur lequel Bonfield est situé. Nous rendons hommage au peuple algonquin qui sont les gardiens traditionnels de cette terre, de ses ressources naturelles et des bassins versants locaux environnement de la rivière des Outaouais et de la rivière Matawa. Nous reconnaissons la relation de longue date des Algonquins avec ce territoire qui demeure non cédé. Nous reconnaissons les gardiens du savoir traditionnel de cette terre, de cette culture et de cette langue. Nous reconnaissons également respectueusement la présence de tous les peuples autochtones, passés et présents, alors que nous nous engageons à agir, à éduquer, à dialoguer de manière significative et à apporter les changements nécessaires. Le but de notre réunion est de recevoir vos commentaires, vos solutions et vous informer, et informer nos contribuables sur divers sujets, sujets incluants. Une revue de l'an 2023, le plan stratégique, questionnaire communautaire, mise à jour financier, gestion d'actifs, location à court terme et roulotte. Tout ce que nous demandons, c'est que chacun soit respectueux envers les autres et vous aurez tous l'occasion de demander des questions à la fin de la présentation. Il y aura deux membres du personnel, Cassandra et Christina, qui vont distribuer des plumes et du papier pour écrire vos questions ou commentaires et ceux-ci seront ramassés par eux autres durant l'information. Euh, Merci, bonne soirée. Thank you, André. Um, the, uh, thank you. Before I, uh, I go a little bit further, I would like to, uh, to recognize Council. And uh, first off, we have uh, Councillor Corbett, who's also our Deputy Mayor. And then we have Councillor Clark, Councillor McGuinness, and I got to put my glasses on to see you guys over there. <laughs> um, next we have Alex, who is our uh, Superintendent of Public Works, and then we have Councillor Featherstone. Our CAO is, uh, Count is Nikki Kunkel, our Deputy Clerk is Andre Gagne, our two office clerks, Cassandra Kluster and Christina Young, our new planning uh, advisor is Ann Carr, then our emergency, uh, part of our emergency control group is Alan Reed, and then we have Tyler Gagne, Stand up, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Alex Hackenbrook will get 
he'll be identified twice because he's on my list, who is our public works superintendent. And then we have Andre Foisy. Where is Andre? <laughs> Thank you. So you see there is who you have, our staff and our council who serve our municipality daily. This town hall is meant to discuss the future of Bonfield. Council and our senior leadership team have been working for the past year to understand the issues facing our community. Strategic uh, plan and explore actions we might take. But the answer is not ours alone. We can always do with ideas and to help us uh, make our challenges a success. The goal of our township is to, provi to provide the community with an update and review what council staff and our volunteers are working on. We are expecting everyone this evening to be respectful to one another and to respect, be respectful to council and staff. We are looking for suggestions and realistic solutions. The presentation will be available on the website after tonight's meeting, so if, it's a lot to take in tonight. Uh, take the time and go on the website and, and look at it. Tonight, the staff are going to go through a presentation and they said they would do their best to keep it under one hour. Then we will have a short break and come back for the question period until 9.30. We don't want you to forget your questions or ideas, so there's papers and pencil at the back. And if you have a question, just mark it down and the staff will go pick up the question and hopefully we can give you your answer this evening, and if we can't, we'll look at uh, certainly getting back to you with it. So we're looking forward to tonight's presentation, and I hope it's very informative to you, and uh, again, uh, make sure to participate by getting your questions to the staff to get up to, get up to us here. So have a, I would like to bring our Deputy Mayor up, he's going to give you uh, a bit of information and also he's our planner. So when I'm not here, he looks after things. <laughs> well, thank you, Your Worship. Uh, so I've been asked to provide a few remarks this evening on behalf of Council, to provide a bit of an update as to what ha has gone on in our first year as Council and where we're at as a, as a township. So. When we were running uh, for election, some of the things we heard very clearly was that you wanted a council to focus on improving our roads. We heard that you wanted our landfill to be better managed and with extended operating hours. We heard that you wanted a council to address RVs on vacant properties. We heard that you wanted action on short-term rentals. You wanted a council to make evidence-based decisions and be good stewards of taxpayers' dollars. And we also heard loud and clear that you wanted all of these items, and quite frankly, every issue, to be dealt with by council who operates in a healthy environment with transparency from all of your elected officials. When we were first, can everybody hear me? Is this too, okay. <clears throat> um, when we were first elected, we knew that we needed a strong staff team who would help lead these changes for the municipality. Council was so pleased with how fortunate we have been in hiring a great CIO, Nikki. <coughs> Nikki has a wealth of experience working as a senior administrator and has already proven herself to be invaluable to our township. Is that like indication like my time's up? Yeah. <laughs> 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 um, okay, you guys really don't like politicians, eh? Like, uh, let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, we are fortunate to hire a new public works manager who has a deep understanding of the roads, redevelopment, road maintenance, equipment operation, and has walked the talk of managing public works department. He leads a team of individuals who are committed to maintaining our roads, our landfills, our cemeteries, and our parks. Our planning department has a change as well. 
with Anne moving into this role. The great work Anne is doing in the planning department is rooted in her municipal experience and her deep understanding of Bonfield. We'd like to thank Alan for the work he's doing and stepping in as our community emergency management coordinator to ensure we have an emergency plan which is vital to a safe and healthy community. With a renewed focus on better serving the public, we couldn't ask for a friendlier customer service approach than what we see in Christina, Christina, Cassandra, and Santana when you come into the office. As many of you might know, our long-serving Fire Chief Gilles Lebel is retiring within the next couple of weeks, and we are truly thankful for his service and commitment to the safety of our community. Council is looking forward to building a strong and positive relationship with Dave, who's continuing to provide leadership to the tremendous group of volunteer firefighters we are so fortunate to have, and I see a few of them here this evening. And we would be remiss if we didn't publicly thank and acknowledge our longest serving municipal employee, Andre. Andre has been through it all over the years, and there's no doubt that with a council as new as we were, she has gone home with more headaches than we should probably talk about here tonight. But with all sincerity, Andre, thank you for your service to our community and the work you continue to do to support Council and, most importantly, our broader community. The report you're going to receive this evening is likely way more information than we're able to digest in one evening. So as the Mayor was saying, um, all of the information on the slides, as well as the speaking notes, are going to be provided uh, on the website for you to review at your leisure. Um, you'll be receiving detailed financial information, the good, the bad, and the ugly about our township budget. Some of it is not pretty, but it's important that you know you, we aren't hiding anything. Tonight isn't about looking backwards to past administrations or councils, but about moving forward and facing our challenges together as a strong and vibrant community. So, our road. So, as we look back over the last year, um, what I can report is we were able to complete three major road projects on Pine Lake Road, South Shore Road, and the first phase of Development Road. This investment, we collectively made, was $807,000. Our current life expectancy of our landfill is 50 years. It's critical to make changes so we can maximize the life of our landfill. To do this, we implemented a clear bag policy to promote and increase the level of recycling. This was done to ensure we aren't necessarily needlessly shortening the life expectancy of our landfill. Even if we are able to get permission to build a new landfill, which is not a guarantee, it costs millions, so extending the life expectancy is critical. We also move forward with a pilot project to open the landfill on Wednesday evenings. For 11 weeks of the pilot project, the total cost was $27,011. We saw an average of 76 vehicles per evening for a total of 836 visits. When we broke down the numbers and we did the math, that means the cost to us all as taxpayers was $32.31 per visit, and only 6.5% of the households used it. It became apparent with those numbers that the Wednesday evenings during the winter was not feasible. We made that decision based on facts and evidence-based decisions. But what we did do was we extended the Wednesday evenings by two additional months. You're going to hear a lot about taxes tonight. You're going to see some information about the long-term capital planning. Sharing this, sharing this information with you, some of it's daunting, is about not hiding the hard truth. Honoring your request to be more transparent. We have added more community events, Labor Day and Business Trade Show, to name a few. We've continued the work that was started by the previous council on the waterfront with a new park, new boat launch, splash pad, and exercise equipment. And I'm pleased to confirm that our community has been approved for two doctors. With physician recruitment being a significant challenge faced by many municipalities across the north, or quite frankly, Ontario, I am pleased to let you know that we have two doctors ready to practice full-time here in Bonfield. We are just working with the ministry to finalize the paperwork. This is a remarkable uh, achievement for our community. We are supporting our local businesses by creating a trade show, promoting our businesses through a directory on our website, and being open to business in Bonfield. We saw 10 new senior housing units open, with another 10 scheduled to be open this summer, and our official plan and zoning bylaw is well underway. These are the guiding principal documents that will steer our municipality well into the future. We have improved communication tools with Facebook, website, 
City Alert app, surveys, and newsletters. And if you go to our website, in full transparency and accountability, all of the councils and the mayor's phone numbers, cell numbers, are on the website. We encourage you, please, reach out with your ideas. We encourage you to reach out with your concerns. I like ideas more than concerns. <laughs> but uh, it's important to hear from all of you. So we are pretty encouraged to see you're either pretty happy or pretty upset with a level of uh, output tonight. Uh, but we look forward to hearing your ideas. Um, one of the critical pieces moving forward as a community was to um, create a strategic plan. So um, we have four pillars of our strategic plan as set forth by council, which is prudent governance, fiscal responsibility, community development, and environmental sustainability. So at this time, I'm going to turn it over to CAO Kunkel and the rest of our staff to walk us through the remainder of the presentation, explain the strategic plan, budgeting, and all of the other information. So thank you very much for being here tonight. We look forward to your feedback. Thank you.